an illegal immigrant convicted of sexually assaulting a child in Brazil, was just arrested by ICE in Martha's Vineyard. The Brazilian sex offender fled his home country after being sentenced to 14 years in prison. He then evaded Border Patrol as he crossed into the U.S. He was a gotaway. But we have people that we have captured, given them a notice to appear, that are on the sex offender list, that are known terrorists. You're absolutely accurate. The agency within ICE, Enforcement and Removal Operations, ERO, they're the sole agency responsible for removing people from the United States. Since Biden has taken office, all of the senior leadership has pretty much retired or left and gone to do something else. And right now, this administration is actually downsizing them. They're losing positions. So this, this individual was apprehended by a fugitive operations team out of the Boston field office, which is run by a very, very good director. But the fact is, we're losing positions, so these fugitive operation teams aren't even fully staffed anymore to go locate these individuals. Yeah, it's a, just crazy. 3.2 million encounters, 600,000 known gotaways, and you got 170, a little bit over 170 people that are on the terror watch list.